Hello and welcome back to Travel Tech and welcome to my review of the audio engine A5 Plus. The A5 Plus aims to place itself in an entry level point for a high end bookshelf or desktop monitor, not, mon not necessarily monitor speakers because they don't say specifically in their spec page and on their website that it's meant as monitor speakers. So there is some color colorization probably going on, but still, we'll get into the audio quality and just how good it is in just a few moments. The A5 Plus is a pair of speakers, one of them passive and one of them active. The active speaker powers the passive speaker through a couple of cables, so therefore only one plug is required into the left speaker, which is the active speaker, and then that will power the passive right speaker. Just to be clear, these A5 speakers are not the wireless edition, which are the newer versions and cost another £100 or so. These are the normal wired versions. The wireless version comes with a wireless antenna. These speakers don't have the wireless antenna, so therefore you're going to need a external antenna of some sorts for Bluetooth connectivity or whatever, the wireless connectivity you would like. Uh, so in the box, doesn't come with wireless connectivity. Just keep that in mind and be careful you get the correct one if that's what you want to look for within the speakers. So a quick walk around, around the speakers. Very quickly going over the passive speaker. It's very simple, just two connections from the active speaker. So very simple on that. But the outside of them, I've got the gloss white version. It comes in a black version and a bamboo version, which comes at a slightly extra cost. Uh, I'm not sure about the difference in audio quality considering the unit is created out of wood, uh, but Look for other reviews of that if you want to know the difference in sound quality with the bamboo bamboo version. Personally, the gloss white is my favorite and goes well with a white desk, as you can see that I've got at the moment. As for the speakers themselves, the drivers, it comes with a 127 millimeter main driver and a 20 millimeter tweeter. These drivers are that of Kevlar and silk material. Moving on to specifically now the active speaker. The active speaker is the one with all the power componentry inside it and therefore the active speaker is a heavier speaker. The weight of these speakers is something to keep in mind. If you want to put them on uh, stands of some sort, make sure you get some pretty beefy stands because they are quite heavy, especially the active speaker. So moving on to the back of the device, if we start from the bottom and work our way to the top. So on the back of the speaker at the bottom is the mains input. There is no battery included in this. These are absolutely mains powered so they're inside use only unfortunately unless you have a big old battery just keep that in mind obviously you probably knew that next up is a fuse and voltage select depending on which country you're in or if you get your voltages wrong i don't know they're there then you've got the connections for your speaker wires out to the passive speaker this is how you connect to the passive speaker and power it there is no other option to power that passive speaker unless you have another amplifier this is how you do it out of the box. Then you've got some outputs. You might be thinking, why would you need outputs on speakers? That's because if you want to connect a subwoofer to these speakers to get a bit more bassy punch, such as the Audio Engine S8, another great option. I'm hopefully going to be getting that in the future. So stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to do a review when I get that. Above that is a couple of RCA inputs. You can use this obviously as an input, as well as the AUX input just above that. Next to that, AUX socket is a USB socket. This is only for USB power, not for USB playback, as there is no DAC involved in this device whatsoever in the speakers. Now on the back of the A5 Plus active speaker is a big old heatsink. Now this is very important because of how hot this device gets, how hot the speaker gets. When you push these speakers to high volume, they do create some heat, a lot of heat gets produced. There is no fan included, so it's all passive cooling. So keep that in mind, keep your hands away from the back if you're on high volume. Now on the front of the A5 Plus active speaker, there are three more things. One of which is an LED light for signaling what kind of mode your thing's on. While you're changing the volume, that will flash to show, to show you that something is happening with the device. It will slowly flash on and off, whether it's on sleep or mute. And of course, when the thing's on, it will just be a solid white color. Next to that LED light is an IR receiver. This is for the remote control that comes with the, uh, the speakers. The remote isn't all that much to talk about. It's solid and it works well. It's IR, remember, so you have got to be in the room and pointing at the device for it to be used. And on the right-hand side, there is a volume knob. 
Now, this is probably one of the things I dislike about the device, probably the only thing I dislike about these speakers, and that is that there is no fully on or fully off setting for this volume knob. So when you power on the speakers for the first time, they have a default volume setting to go to, which means if you like to change that volume, if you power the speakers off, you're going to be losing that uh, set volume that you set it to. And if you turn the thing up, you don't know exactly what that, that volume is set to. There is no zero to 100 setting. So that's the one thing I dislike about it. Uh, and that's, that is a, it's not a deal breaker, but it can just be a little bit annoying every now and then. Now, moving on to audio quality. I'm going to do two tests, one of which is with these A5 Plus speakers, and I'm going to be comparing them to my current use speakers, which are the which is the XVDV55 5.1 sound system from Pioneer. It's a very old sound system, but I always thought it was very, very good for the price, considering I got it for £90 off of uh, eBay, considering when, that, when this sound system first came out, uh, I think it's like 10 years ago now, it came up for about £900. So I want to know exactly if not, if it's still worth that £900 that it came out as the price a few years ago, or whether old sound uh, quality from old speakers, really how much it has improved since then. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be comparing them to comparing the sound quality to both of these sets of speakers. After the sound test, I will give you my verdict as to just how good these speakers are, in what areas they perform very well and what areas they don't. <laughs> Obviously, through my microphone and playing on your speakers, it's not going to be the best verdict to see how good both these sets of speakers sound in comparison. So I've got to give you my verdict and say just how good it is in person. Now, as a quick comparison between the A5 Plus and the XV DV55 5.1 sound system, there is a huge difference, a huge difference which I didn't quite uh, anticipate. The old XV DV55 sound system is a lot more mum muffled in a weird way, in the high ends and possibly into the mids as well. This, the bass is very good considering a subwoofer is included with the system, which is the only thing uh, at the moment which it has over the top of the A5 Plus is because there's more bass uh, capability with the 5.1 sound system. So the, a more fairer test would be to include the S8 subwoofer uh, from Audio Engine as well. I'll hope, as I said before, I was gonna, I'm gonna get that in the future and we'll have a, a fairer test. But the A5 Pluses are way clearer in the highs, mids, and they have a, a very punchy, sharp bass without losing any of the details in the highs whatsoever, which is very good considering it's coming from a tweeter and a, a normal speaker, uh, effectively four of them in stereo separation, and incredibly, uh, it, everything's very punchy and very, very precise with only those four speakers. These are my first proper high-end speakers, and what I can say is actually given me a more appreciation for listening to properly recorded music rather than electronic music uh, created by newer artists. You can really hear every single instrument and the instrument separation is amazing. I can hear everything that's going on and that is incredible. It's something I've never really heard before from a set of desktop speakers really. Stereo separation is incredible as well. You can always tell very good se stereo separation when you have two speakers Staying, doing the exact same thing and you think that there is a speaker in front of you. You can tell it's working very very well because of that. Music that pans from side to side is incredible. Obviously going from the left speaker to the right or the right to the left. Incredible. Everything just smoothly like butter moves from side to side and it's 
a pleasure to listen to. As for volume, these speakers get extremely loud as they're massive cabinets. They can be used very well for a party. I have used them for a party already and they are incredible, incredibly loud. They don't get distorted very easily. You could easily get them even better probably with a DAC. If you include a DAC from Audio Engine, you could probably get even more performance out of these speakers before distortion starts to happen. Might be looking at, worth looking into if you're planning to use these for very loud music, but for me, they've worked extremely well. I can't really say much more. Obviously, with speakers versus headphones, which is another topic completely, if you're looking for high-end audio, but you don't know whether to go for speakers and or headphones, you can get much more bang for the buck from a good high-end pair of headphones. However, headphones you do need to uh, get uh, all sorts of things like amplifiers and possibly DACs as well to get the most out of high-end high uh, headphones because of the impedance increase but you do get more bang for the buck with headphones. Keep that in mind if you're looking, if this video is something you're looking at and you're not sure whether to get headphones or speakers. But there are plenty of more videos out there looking into that comparison for details. Anyway, that's as much as I'm gonna say. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, do hit the like button down below. Leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.